Testing. 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 Hello, Jessica. Certainly. CAP is a national industry with most of its offices located in St. John's, Ottawa, and Calgary. The CAP represents companies of all sizes that extract and produce natural gas and oil throughout Canada. By the end of 2010, CAP helped produce and distribute 41.18 million barrels of crude oil, bringing in $36.7 billion in industry revenues alone. From that money, $17.2 billion was invested into capital spending, and $3.7 billion was given to the province. Together, CAP's members are an important part of a $110 billion a year industry, with total revenues of about $100 billion a year. The Newfoundland natural resource sector offers several opportunities for many different educational backgrounds. A variety of skilled workers are vital to our industry's ability to grow and operate. Aside from providing Canadians with more jobs, the further extraction of oil will also increase our yearly provincial revenue, lower pump prices, and promote the growth and development of Canada. You might not know the faces, but you know the names. Dalton's from the Southern Shore, George's from Fortune Bay, O'Brien's from St. John's. In the oil and gas sector, they're among the best in the world, and they choose to work here. Today in the offshore, we are filling all levels of roles, making the day-to-day -day decisions. Putting safety at the forefront every day, Newfoundlanders and Labradorians are 90% of the workforce. Together, we're building an industry for the future. Excellent question. CAP makes sure to have many preventive measures. For example, no offshore activity can occur without approval from a licensed inspector. We always use low toxic drilling fluids in case some is dropped into the water. Also, our capital investments buy only the best specialized equipment, hence reducing the possibilities of spills and keeping our workers safe. As the oil slick oozes onto the beach of Glenifer Lake, a local resident looks on in disgust. Concerned about uh, the impact that this is going to have on the use of the lake. Absolutely. It's, I think most people that live around here probably feel the same way. As a precaution, drinking water is being brought in for residents at the resort. Plains Midstream says it is doing all it can after up to 3,000 barrels of toxic light sour crude 
leaked into the Red Deer River upstream. A team of 90 is working to contain the slick at the west end of the lake. Emergency response specialists, including um, specialized boats, skimmers, and response trailers are now at the scene. Plains continues to work closely with various regulatory agencies. We've been in contact and will continue to be in contact with the landowners and local resort operators on the Glenifer Reservoir. The company says it still doesn't know why a 12-inch pipe failed. It was operational but wasn't in use at the time. The important thing, though, is that you know, spell this nature and size, the rapid containment that we've been able to achieve, we're extremely confident we'll be able to effect a full and complete cleanup. The ERCB is investigating. Charges could follow, but some are left wondering why more efforts aren't poured into prevention rather than cleanup. This isn't the first time it's happened. Every time it happens, you get just a little more uh, ticked off, so to speak. Oil extraction does come with its consequences. But doesn't everything? Our oil fields represent tremendous economic potential for the region. As BC's population grows, so have our demands for our resources, and as the head of CAP, it is my duty to fill those needs in the most productive manner.
Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.